one, buy and or steal and or have someone give you an old shitty t-shirt and then go find some other old shitty t-shirts, preferably little kids shirts with like flowers and stuff on them. Go to the supermarket or wherever you get your needle and thread, sew some shit together, make a little pocket, steal a microphone out of a payphone, although you can't really do that anymore, so you have to, this has actually become the challenging part, because I used to get these microphones, like you could go to the Salvation Army or whatever, some, you know, used place and get these microphones out of old phones, you know, for two bucks, but now these things are like vintage, so you have to go to like a vintage shop and they try to sell you a phone for like 50 bucks, which is horrible. So you can go to a vintage shop and, shop and steal this out of a $50 phone, because it's not like they're gonna use the phone anyway. Or you can go to a secret location that only I know about on the internet that sells these things. And then you buy a cable, and then you chop some stuff up in there, and then you screw some stuff together, and then you duct tape it. And then you have this little pocket that you sewed into your mask, and you stick it in that little pocket. And then you strap the whole thing on your head. And then you plug it into some stuff. This thing gets strapped in my mouth, and I basically spit into it for a good hour every night. It still works great. Every once in a while, though, you have to take it home kind of bang it against something really hard to kind of bring it back to life, but for the most part, these work pretty good. I mean, if you strap a mask to the face and like basically crack it and put it inside your mouth for an hour, it works pretty good, which I don't advise doing. And that's the easy tutorial on uh, how to make a lightning bolt mask. Kind of time for a new mask. I wrote it into my schedule. New mask has been penned into the schedule, penned into the calendar 